In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate literally anything inside any plugin that's not native to FL Studio. What's up my producer friends, another monster here, anothermonsterproductions.com. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So last week I did this uh, walkthrough tutorial video on Isotope Vinyl, and I got a question about the spin down effect because there's not really an obvious way to implement it into your production. Uh, it's just sort of a, a switch that you can click and then it does this cool spin down effect. But how do we actually like automate it or get it to do it when we want it to do it? So I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is actually, I wouldn't say a common problem, but you will run into to this from time to time where there'll be like a non-native FL Studio plugin where there's something that you can't figure out how to actually implement it into your tracks and you want to do an automation clip but unfortunately you can't just right click and create automation clip like you normally can on native FL Studio plugins. So basically this is how we do it. You'll notice up here we have our current project. Let's click the current project and then we have all these tabs here. We're going to be focusing on generators and effects. Uh, our generators are going to be like our synths, stuff like that. And then our effects are going to be things like isotope vinyl where we're putting them into our mixer. So let's go ahead and click effects. And then we have isotope vinyl here. It'll tell you to the right uh, where it's linked to or what, what channel it's in. So ours is in the master. Let's go ahead and click this. And now we have access to literally every um, feature within the plugin. So we're looking for our spin down effect. So let's go ahead and right click this, create automation clip. And now we just do it, you know, how you do every other automation clip. So I'm gonna kind of, hang on, bring that back. Kind of do like uh, something here. And then we'll go ahead and take a listen. So yeah, and then of course you can tweak that however you want it. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys liked it, please go ahead, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and go ahead, hit that bell notification because that'll let you know every time I do release a new video like this one. Uh, I've got tutorials coming out every Thursday. So keep an eye out for those and take a look down in the description of this video because I got a couple, a couple freebies that I'm giving away down there. Um, other than that, that's it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video.